Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am so excited. It's currently Sunday. We've got Monday tomorrow. Tomorrow night I'll be staying at Bath and then Tuesday morning we are flying to Marbella. It's such an early flight actually. We've got to be at the airport for I think like half four because our flight's at 6 a.m. We really said let's make the most of the days. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going for four nights. So we'll be back four nights, five days. I'm actually so excited like we're so excited for a girls trip we literally haven't done one all four of us like since italy it's gonna be a really really fun vlog hopefully obviously this will be like packed with me got lots of exciting new clothes obviously now that we're actually venturing into summer and god this weather has been so nice and yeah she's off on her travels again but i actually have something even more exciting I did the biggest order on White Fox and I have never bought anything from White Fox. I am so beyond excited about this. This part of the video is kindly sponsored by White Fox, which is so incredibly fun. I, I'm i so excited for this. I've heard so many great things. Obviously, Saf raves about them all the time. I'm pretty sure I remember the first time that I had actually gone to Saf's house. She'd like said, oh, like I don't fit this bikini anymore. It was a White Fox bikini. And it was one of my favorites because of the quality. So I'm really really excited for this we're gonna do a massive haul try on summary bits let's get straight into it i also want to say this came so quickly now that they have their express like well delivery shipment i want to say the word would be really bloody useful and they've of course got white box active which means you best believe i feel like i see them all over my instagram feed like i can't get rid of them and i'm so not angry by it but of course all of their like track suits and sweatsuits i did pick up an airport outfit oh i'm actually so excited like i just found like the active wear like track suit short set that i picked out and i feel like i just have to put this on straight away this is the hoodie and this Look at that print. Look at that print. It's so cute. And then I've got the little sweatshorts. I love a sweatshirt. Like, I don't care if it's minus outside. I will still wear sweatshorts. And I put this on straight away. Also got the matching baby tee, which has the, like, reverse color. This feels incredible, can I say? Like, dupe who? Okay, that's better. Oh, my God. How cute this. Also, I'm literally wearing a blue bra right now. Might be TMI. You can't see it. I just... The thickness of this is so nice. It just, like, kind of, like, sucks you in. I am going to pop this hoodie on just to show you but i'm literally gonna have to take off showing so hot especially in our apartment okay and this is the hoodie such a nice fit i got both in a small just um for size reference because i'm pretty sure like do these hoodies i mean it kind of says it on the website whether they are oversized or not they are kind of oversized fits you can kind of like stay true to size and then you'll still get like that really lovely like boxy hoodie quality i love it so first up what i'm seeing is i picked up a little cord and i think this is just the cutest top ever this in marbella is literally gonna look chef's kiss got the matching trousers here these are them they're like super long flowy very like linen-y i just know that these are gonna fit in absolute dream and i always i love getting a good cord because you can obviously wear it together wear it separately i always say this i also feel like these linen trousers are going to be an absolute staple like the quality on these linen trousers are unmatched like i know i'm going to have these for absolute years i also again picked these up in a size small and i want to say the same with the top okay immediate yes <laughs> took a little bit of time to get into because basically this is all kind of like they're just strings so you kind of like tie it cinch it how you'd like oh my god this is giving me all of the holiday vibes even this top with a little pair of like low waisted blue jeans would be so cute and i was so right about the trousers i'm so in love with these obviously with this camera filming this way i'm going to insert like all full length things next to me so that you kind of get the full picture oh my god i'm obsessed with this and also no see-through nothing going on i think that's one thing that i get really scared about ordering like white linen online wow the pants and the bottoms are called secret society for reference next up we have completely different vibe this pattern is so gorgeous so we've got this complete maxi um dress completely halter neck and backless which i didn't know it was backless and i'm so happy it was backless that's been a little surprise to me this pattern is just gorgeous and this is actually a really heavy dress again like the quality is really there i feel like i just need to immediately get this on my body okay I have never worn anything like this and I have never felt so feminine in my entire life. This is stunning. It, honestly, I can't get over the texture of this. It just feels so slinky. That's the only way to describe that. We had a little commotion for the back. It's very pale, very pale, but she's cute or whatever. It's completely like down to the floor maxi. Wow, I love this neckline. I feel like because of the red, it's slightly giving like flamenco. I'm so excited to wear this out to a dinner. Like.
Also, even more fitting, this is called vacation time maxi dress. What are the name? I feel like we're on a bit of a dress roll, so I feel like we have to do this next. When I saw this on the website, I gasped. Like, actually, mouth was on the floor. This has such a 2000 neckline, and I'm so excited for it. It's just like this little string detail, kind of like a bar dough, but like a lovely little something something. I'm yet to be disappointed. Dare I say that too soon? This is going very well for me. This is giving me 13 going on 30 aquamarine vibes in the best possible way. I love this. I will say, a little bit of a shimmy to get into it. Like there's no zips for this one, so it's kind of a shimmy down. I did get this in an extra small. Um, and I feel like it's fine. Like I probably, I don't know, maybe a small would have been easier getting into, but I feel like it's fitting and sitting in all the right places. I also feel like this is such a great number to be able to take you from day to night. Like I feel like, yeah, I know it's secret, but I feel like it's really quite like beachy as as well like if you really wanted to go for it wear this to the beach club with like a little bikini i don't know but where my head is also going is i know that this is going to picture beautifully at night with a flash like imagine like canon g7x vibes mark ii i always get so many questions on like what i take my photos with and it is literally my vlogging camera so this camera that you're on but like vertical and before i forget to mention this one is called the better than before sequin maxi dress okay this is going to be so cute for shopping um i actually i can't get over this i will say i think i might have picked the top up in two smaller size i got this set in a extra small the skirt fits beautifully but this top was slightly struggling to breathe but what i will say it's kind of like a free boob job with me in a top so i'm like is she complaining about it is it too tight one of them ones you know yeah it's just a stunning little set you really can't fault this i feel like all these names are also so on point so this is called the always always happy hour set if you know me you know this set is a bit of me oh my god again with the back details so cute it's obviously a waistcoat but i feel like it's so gorgeously feminine this is such a beautiful fit it's kind of got like this cup detail straight down the middle the back piece and the top piece is also adjustable so you kind of like do it to what you kind of need these trousers be beautiful it's kind of like they're kind of like cotton trousers but they've got a little bit of like elast elast something in them because they're really nice and stretchy so it just makes them so beyond comfy this is the fifth avenue set and again with these trousers fit, you can have them high-waisted have them a little bit low-waisted equally so peaceful you can really kind of play around with how you want to style this and uh, again i just know that i'm gonna wear and wear these trousers again because they're so really comfy i feel like it wouldn't be one of my reviews if i didn't get some of their g's and try them on so i've got these really i kind of want to say skater wash because i feel like that's what this wash always reminds me of these are the willow mid-rise like wide leg jeans let's pop them on and give them Go, and i've also got another top i think i've just found my new favorite top oh my god this is the cutest little oh my it's kind of like what's that meme and it's like she was a fairy like something like that this is what this is get oh this is so beyond cute this is called the still sleepless top the girl in the picture was wearing it with like a mini skirt and i'm so tempted just to copy her equally these jeans okay fitted like i will say little bit of a shimmy to get over the touche these fit beautifully around my waist like there's you know when sometimes you get the awful gaping at the back trying to show you without the top getting in the way no gaping like genuinely stunning they're also quite good length i'm like five three five four like a little bit longer but i feel like they just fit nicely above the trainers and i feel like these are a really nice wash where i feel like they'll complement like a lot of tops I just can't go over this top like someone take me to a rooftop right now or like i went to a pub garden i don't care i will say that this top needs to go out okay let's get into the swimwear i feel like i have to show you the leopard one with first so we've got this gorgeous balcony bra this is underwired and your girl needs a little bit of help in the bikini department so anything underwire and it's like straight up my street otherwise my girlies they'd be pointing in opposite directions east and west these are the bottoms i love that these aren't like completely thigh i just feel like it's so much more flattering like on myself per se side tie detail which is so cute this this one is called the the top is called the allura bikini top I, the bottoms are called ocean views bottom okay so obviously can't show you the full thing because i will get taken down and reported this is bloody flattering this neckline is just stunning and i love the print it's not like crazy cheetah print it's just kind of like a brownie do you know what i mean like it's just really subtly like beautifully done just popping on this little beach cover-up this is called sun-kissed bliss this is so soft like this is giving want to get kutch and cozy on the beach vibes it then ties up at the back and this is a dress it's got like super wide 
Oh wow, I love this, this is so cute. Okay, this was the second bikini I got. This is in the Sangria floral print. This is so, so cute. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is, I hope this is gonna fit my wide rib cage. Just, hopefully it's gonna be fine. I basically, I get all my swim sizes in an extra small. Uh, the really cutesy little bottoms. I love this and the side details, it's kind of like a scuba. And again, all the gold details, it's just like, let's get her on. I'm only a 32B and I feel like this top is, it's not awful, but it's too small. I feel like there's a lot of chest and not much material here with this top i would say size up just so you can get like a little bit if you like kind of like the really small i mean you're gonna get great bikini lines in this but, but i think like yeah if you're going to like beach parties or kind of like wanting to be active in your swimwear i would say size up just so you get like a little bit more coverage because i feel like this is a little bit teeny tiny but nonetheless i love the print the bottoms fit really really well so this is the swimsuit it's that gorgeous cutout detail with loads of different roses this is called the sorrento one piece in cream and i'm gonna match it with the sarong when i tell you this was tricky to get into to. Oh, I feel like I've just done a full workout. This again, it fits so beautifully, but I think where all of this like different sections over my thighs proven to be a little bit difficult, but nonetheless fits on the body beautifully. Oh my god, I'm so out of breath from that. I'm obsessed with this though. This is stunning. This sarong is also really, really nice. Very, very floaty. It's very long. Definitely got the maxi length. I can definitely see myself styling this with a really like even that lovely pair of linen trousers. So it'll probably like sit here and I feel like this is just like this is stunning. Yeah, I just feel like this is such a cool swimsuit because I love a swim piece. I feel like everything's just together, then you've not got to worry about things flying out. <laughs> So that is everything that I picked up from White Fox for this trip. I am um, honestly, I'm taking all of it away with me. Like I don't, I don't think there's one thing. Maybe that red bikini. I don't think I'm going to take that purely just because it, I should have got a bigger size on the top with that cheetah bikini. I'm so obsessed with. So excited to wear all of this abroad. Like I said, that pink dress is going to literally look so beautiful of an evening. That does conclude this haul. So I hope you enjoyed. We've still got lots of packing to do because although I have just shown you a million different things, I have not packed one single thing. Not toothbrush, not deodorant, nothing like that. So we're gonna have to go to Boot, do a little reset. I need to pick up some more sun cream and things like that. So we'll do that together next. White, White Fox have also given me a discount code to share with you guys, which is honestly incredible. So I'll leave that below as well as all the details. I'll put all the links below. I'll try and make it like as easy as possible that if you did kind of like something that it should hopefully be there. I've obviously said the names with each item, but again, I'll leave the names with the link. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, White Fox. I'm so excited for this trip. Honestly, I can't wait. Off to get some holiday essentials and I've dragged this one along with me. Really not happy about it. In all fairness, we are gonna go and then get a little food shop just so we can get something for dinner. We're kind of wanting to make like homemade burgers, but we're not quite sure what kind of burger. We decided. An in and out type burger. Right, so we are going for beef. Yeah. Yeah. I always wanted beef, I just didn't know if I fancied the five guys style again. Yeah, but I don't, what's what's gonna be the difference between five style or in and out then? Well, in and out, you have to make the in and out sauce. And what's and that? And you're not also doing the uh, the buns with it as well. So I'm going to do the buns in. I don't know what's going on. So we're just, just going to m and I've come into Boots. I actually don't know what I'm here for. Like I remember that I needed to get a few little bits of boss, but now I'm here, I actually have no idea what I'm meant to be getting. Gonna pick up a new little hairspray because I've actually ran out entirely. Also do you need a new brow pencil? I feel like I've said this a million times. This is the only one that I swear by. It's literally four quid, stunning. Never seen this before. This is coming home with me. Secured all the goods. Okay, so I can't talk properly right now. I just put some whitening strips in because I got them whilst I was at Boots earlier. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they're going to be any good. These are the ones I picked up. Cheapest ones I could find in Boots. All of the others are so expensive. Can't take myself properly with these in, but when I tell you I'm gagging with these in, these are awful. Like, the taste. Sometimes you can get like mint flavoured ones. These, like, no mint, nothing genuinely awful but then i've also just realized that there's seven in here because you've got to do it for a week all i'm gonna say is don't buy these like they taste awful we'll see if they're good results don't know if i'll be able to do them every day because i genuinely want to throw up right now i'm having to like spit my phone out because i can't swallow it it's that bad not it i mean the teeth look pretty white so i feel like for that experience i can't complain that bad i feel like all i've been doing is vlogging in the apartment so i do apologize but that is what i have been doing today basically i'm gonna go and myself a bath now and remove my tan because it is horrific and then i'm gonna I don't want a fake tan, but I'm also equally pale and I know that five days in the sun isn't going to do anything for my skin. Like, my skin just doesn't really absorb the sun, which I can't complain about. That's probably a good thing. But I picked this up today. I actually couldn't find any body scrubs in boots. I found this Brazilian Love one. Oh, so smooth. Never tried it before, but we could try it. Got my handy dandy gloves. I also use the Tanologist, like, tan remover, which is in the bathroom. So I'm going to go get naked, have a nice bath, exfoliate, scrub, all that kind of fun jazz, and then... I'm gonna use a moisturizing tanner, which I'm really scared about because I don't know where the lines 
like thin it like you can't see it on your body but i'm sure i'll be fine guys the packing is going so bad i don't know why my brain is not working it's i want to say like four o'clock now yes i am in the same outfit as yesterday don't judge me i have had a shower and i have put the same clothes on again I couldn't be, like, literally couldn't be bothered to put an outfit together. So, this is me, again. I'm going to get into my airport outfit in a bit, because obviously I'm going to go stay at Beth's tonight. Our flight is obviously really early. I'm literally just going to go in my airport, sleep in my pyjamas, and put my airport outfit back on. You know, like, I'm staring at my clothes, and nothing's making sense, and I'm literally, like, I've currently got a pile of bikinis and pants, stuff I've packed, stuff I've then rethunk, and then rethunk? Is thunk even a word? I don't know. And then taken out again. So everything's everywhere. Bearing in mind, I've got to make this apartment spotless by the time that I leave. That's another thing that's stressing me out. My liquids- Yeah, you do. My liquids are currently in a polymailer bag. I don't know why. I keep adding so many products because just too high maintenance. It's not going well. And I've got to do all my um, returns before I leave. It's, you're probably thinking, but Imogen, what have you done today? So I got up this morning. I had to edit um, this YouTube video that's kind of like got an ad in it. So I had to make sure that that was like all done, sent off, had all the right bits and bobs. I then had two ads that I filmed this morning and edited. So that took me like two hours. I then had had one meeting for an event coming up which is really really exciting i then basically had to fill out these forms which make no sense because it's about like america and america's like tax system i don't even like i couldn't tell you i don't know what i was doing but i had to like print things and scan it and then sign it and then i had to do jed's for him i just realized you're in his pants <laughs> Jed's been to boxing. What did I do after that? I had another meeting. I was then basically looking at shoot locations for Maya and Saffron's project, which is really exciting, but hella confusing. Like, why can't we just use an Airbnb? I know we can't, but do you know what I mean? Hello. And now I'm trying to stress pack because I've literally left it to the last minute. And I really probably shouldn't be sitting here talking because I've got, I basically have got to get to to Beth's for half seven because that's kind of when everyone said they were going to do and because I don't have a car, Beth's picking me up from the train station. Don't want to make her drive really late. A quick intervene. What does a skew taste like? Oh my god, this is so good. We've um from our Hello Fresh the other day, we've got these um goo salted caramel cheesecakes. They're so like I, like I them cold though. No 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 it's that is cold. Don't yeah, no, it's really good. Normally I'm not a cheesecake fan, but like them Really good. Uh, oh, did not know this was going to be on. Ordered a quick McDonald's. No, it, it fell. It fell in. No, it fell into our laps. Start again. <laughs> so we are indeed a best now. Uh, hey, queen. It just fell here. It this just like, it went, oops, yeah. daisy. I was sticking to my diet. McDonald's 10 up. How are they start today, queens? Yes, mom, mom. Morning everyone. Um last night we were so all so excited. We a stupid mistake. It was like full girl sleepover in full effect. Um and we didn't go to sleep till two. We were an hour and a half sleep. It's now three. Yeah. I feel so I feel so sick with you and your body's like waking up outside of its natural clock. Anyways, it's Marb's day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see her, but she's down there somewhere. Oh, oh gonna, my god, I look like it. death. I forgot to mention Makara. I ended up staying at hers last night just because it's kind of like an equal distance from hers to Bethesda Airport, whatever. Um, the vibes are way too high. Oh, what did it come out as? Oh, wait, 23.8. The way that we spent like an hour getting stuff out of this one suitcase because it was 30 kg yesterday. Okay, so we're through airport security after all the bag club. We basically, Romy thought she was really not going to be underway. It turns out it was overweight. So it was Cara. So we had like a whole rearrangement, but we ended up not paying, sorted it out. But we're now, unless you got through security, no questions asked, nothing stunning. We've gotten to prep. I got myself a ham and cheese sandwich because I'm not overly hungry, but I know that <laughs> when I wake up on the plane, I'll be hungry or like, do you know what I mean? And a big bottle of water. I really want to go and find myself a coffee, but I, then is that stupid? No, I, I feel like I can sleep on coffee. Um, I didn't actually show you the vlog though, but basically I saw this TikTok and I don't actually know what possessed me. I saw this TikTok and it was like, um, people had like uni people had like moved into a house or something and they're like all of our flatmates got like matching bunnies, like jelly cat bunnies. So I was like, I want to make that a thing for the girls. Oh my God, my hair looks awful. It looks so bad right now. Um, but I was like, I need to make this a thing for the girls. Um, but I was like, I need to make this a reality for the girls trip. So we've all got bunnies. There's Cara's bunny. Mm, my cute little pink bunny. <laughs> Romy's got a blue one. And then... Oh, no. 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 Oh,
scale of 1 to 10, how excited are we? 100 out of 1,025,000. Yeah, so we're now um, just in the Uber on the way to the apartment. <laughs> we were literally just saying, like, we can't remember what the apartment looks like. So we have actually booked it, like, such a long time ago. <laughs> Dream car, I will have you one day. Jeez. Like a <laughs> We've literally just gone up a million steps with all of these suitcases. Actually, so proud of us. So proud, but we've made it to my bay. Oh, hey, 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 Bedroom number one. I'm actually sweating. This is the bedroom. This is gonna be oh my, my wardrobe. Oh my god, look at the wardrobe space. Oh. It is so beautiful down here. And I, I'm sorry, look at this Sephora. This is so cute. We spent a little bit of time walking around. Me and Beth were kind of looking at some sunglasses. We were basically saying that, well, I definitely have this problem where I always wear sunglasses on my head, but I'm yet to find a pair that I love on my face, like wear all the time, like actually wear them for what they're used like for. So we were looking at sunglasses and like we ha had a few, but all the girls were saying all the ones that I didn't like, and then the ones that I was saying they were like, no. But yes, we've now come to a place called Picasso, like kind of on the bay, and it's really, really lovely in here. We just ordered some like, frozen strawberry margaritas, and they are so, so Yummy. Look at these cute little aesthetic queens. We love this is delicious, by the way. Oh wow, this looks incredible. So I went for a crispy chicken sea salad, which looks so yum. And I also got a mac and cheese balls for everyone. And again, incredible. This looks so good. Also, can we talk about how big these portion sizes are? Just picked up a new Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I wanted to go and get it in the airport and they just didn't have it. So got it now, got the goods. Can't live without it on holiday. But we finished up at lunch. These two just bickering. She left us in the middle. <laughs> but lunch was so good. It was really, really yummy. Like we're all very much got full, full bellies now. We think. Are we heading to the supermarket now? Um, I'm ready to go to Celine. She's ready to go to Celine. <laughs> oh, honestly, the shopping here is. It's pretty good. Yeah, the last time we came to Marbella, we literally like we didn't do any of this. So what did you actually do last time? Oh, God actually knows. Last time we were in the Marbella, we were with the boys, and nothing got with achieved. The boyfriends. Nothing got achieved. <laughs> I, like, I, I couldn't tell you. Girls <laughs> I mean, Cara's have one drink. Oh, she's, yeah. on, she's on a vibe. But we thought, yeah. and now, girls do it better. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> girls do it better. Right. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Right we now. are currently in Celine. Oh my god. Loving the sandals. Guys, we're all going a bit delirious. And I kid you not, this is the most random food shop we've ever done in our entire lives. No one knew what they wanted to eat. So this is what we got. I fall to my knees. They're manageable if we take off the first layer. Yeah. Are you gonna However, eat them? No, you are. There's a first layer of cheese, and that's the only cheese we get. <laughs> <laughs> We've got four cheeses in the front. Of the door. We've just come back from a club called Taboo, and we got there. Like, there was, there was no one there. I was going to say dead, but there was just no one there. That's the only way to describe it. Yeah, um, it's completely empty. We. <laughs> I can't open it. I love how this is my outro to my vlog. Um, oh, love you. Love you. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Also, okay. we basically spent hours getting ready. That's all I can say. We didn't even go for dinner. We spent um, like two. Three. It was ridiculous. Um, but we now know for future practice not to do that. Practice. <laughs> Yeah. What We've got a few like beach clubs um fun things planned over the next few days. Um so I hope you did enjoy this vlog. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like yeah, down below. Subscribe. Let us know if you want more vlogs with us in it because we're so fun. Play that. Um love you lots and hopefully see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Bye.